Today I'm going to show you how do you have a conditional tag in this product grid right here. So right now, if the product is for sale, it'll show a red sale tag. If the product is sold out, it'll have a sold out tag. Now I'm taking a look at the debut theme right here, which is a pretty popular theme, it's a free one. I am on the collection page right now. I'm looking at the men's shirts right here. And I came across a question where somebody wanted to tag the product. So they, want, they wanted to tag the product and say it was for sale at 20%, sale 30%. And then instead of having sale be right there, it'll say sale 30, sale 20. Just have some sort of tag right there. So instead of just saying sale, it'll say sale 30, sale 20, depending on the tag. So let's implement that feature. That should be a pretty simple feature. Let me go ahead and go into our theme right here. So I'm logged in on in the admin panel here of this store. Let's go into our debut theme. So I'm going to edit some code in here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to actions, edit code. And what I want to get into is I want to go and find the product price listing. And that should be either a snippet or a section. I believe it is a snippet. So if we scroll down here, product price listing right here. Now this is where we'll add some code. So if we scroll down to the very bottom, this is what is controlling that tag. Now, I don't like how the debut theme goes about this and how they determine when to show it, when not to show it. So you'll see here that there's this aria hidden true that it should technically really be showing both of these. But if you go and take a look at the style sheet, it's actually based on whether or not this is shown is based on some CSS, some styling. And so it's using some JavaScript to determine whether or not you actually put a, what's called a display on that tag right there. So I don't necessarily like how the theme is doing it, but to do what we wanted to do, which again is to have a tag there, say save 30, save 40, or sell 30, sell 20, depending on what your tag is, Instead of uh, modifying how the, the debut theme is doing it, let's go ahead and just add our own code so that we don't uh, we don't impact the integrity of what the theme the debut theme is doing. All right. So first thing that we're going to do, if we scroll all the way up here, let's add some liquid code. So I'm going to come up here, add some liquid code, and I'm just going to do what we see above here. If you put in this code right here, this, these tags, this liquid, and you add this liquid keyword, anything within, inside here, within that block, that's going to, it's going to uh, run that liquid code. So in here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a new variable called discount. Assign that to an empty string. All right. And in here, I'm going to say for tag in product tags, if tag contains save, let's just say save instead of discount, I'm going to assign discount to the tag and if and for. All right. So what this is going to do is it's going to iterate through all of my product tags, we're going to find the save underscore and right, when you're tagging the, the product, it's either going to be 20% off, 30% nope, off, etc. So we're just going to match the save underscore. So this is we're determining where we're telling you that you have to tag your products as a save underscore and whatever that number you want it to be. All right. So that has to be the case because that's what we're looking for in this piece of code here. Now in here, I'm going to say assign discount tag to tag. So because this is, uh, this is going to be, oops, sorry, not tag, discount. There you go. We are assigning discount right here. 
we're going to grab if that tag has a save underscore we're going to assign it to discount right there so we're going to grab that value right here so this right here should either be right it should be save 30 20 whatever the percent off is that's the value of what it's going to be so I'm going to say upcase oh sorry upcase let's just go ahead and uppercase it and then we're going to split on that underscore so what this will do is it'll essentially create what's called an array for us so it'll grab essentially create something that looks like this it'll create an array called save and then whatever that number is going to be let's just say 20 percent that's what we want it to be and so now because it does that we're going to join them together so when you do a join what it does is it'll say join with a space so we should end up with something that says save 20 like that because we're joining it with a space in the middle here all right so this discount tag should equal save space 20 if that was the tag for example if the tag was save underscore 20. so now that we have that discount tag variable let's scroll all the way down here now again this is where that code is happening so in here we have to write some some code. So again, I don't want to. I don't want to uh, challenge or, or or test the integrity of how the debut theme is doing things, right? Because it's using a lot of JavaScript, it's using a lot of CSS in here. So I'm going to leave this all as is, and instead I'm going to add my own if statement. So I'm going to say in here if discount tag that variable that we just created does not equal blank. So if it exists, what am I going to do? Before I add my code in there, and if, let's go ahead, grab all of this. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and add our code first. I'm going to say I want to, and I'm going to just grab this right here. I'm going to grab one of these. Put that in there. So this says price badge sale right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this badge. And instead of sale for discount, let's just say price badge for discount, just like that. And Aria, that's we'll get rid of that as well. And what this is going to give us, and I'm not going to do a translation for now. You can certainly add that later. This is going to be discount tag. It's going to be that variable, whatever that variable is. So if that discount tag variable exists, go ahead and show it. Otherwise, just do what it was doing before. All right, now we haven't created this yet. We haven't created this yet. So if we leave this as is and we save it, let's just preview our theme right now. If we preview this, shirts, we have sale. Oh, it doesn't have our tags yet. So let's go into our products and make sure that those are tagged first. So let's go into our products. Let us tag, let's just say the button up. Let's do the button up at um, save 20. Go ahead and add it, save it. And then let's do, uh, let's go back to the long sleeve. And let's just make this one save 50 because what we're going to do is we're, we're tagging this as your it's a 50% discount, right? That's the idea that we have priced this at a 50% discount. Okay. So now let's go back into our store, the theme store on the left hand side or like the online store and then themes. And now let's preview our debut theme. Now we're looking at it right now. If we do shirts in here. We see the save 20, save 50 for the button up. The flannel shirt has not changed. We see the save 20, we see the save 50. All right, the flannel shirt remains. So that's still there because it doesn't have a tag like that. Now, let's make that look nice. So this is where we're going to take that product 
uh, the, or excuse me, the, the price badge for discount. Let's go and find that again. Price badge for discount. Well, let's go into our theme CSS. And actually, I'm going to grab price badge sale right here because we, we're, we want to copy that. That's what we want to copy. So we're going to our assets theme CSS. Let's just go and find that. Control F right here. Perfect. Now this price badge, this is what's controlling what it looks like. So I'm just going to come down in here and say price badge and what did we name it? We named it price badge for discount. So there you go. It's not going to have a display none. And then let's add some of our color. Let's just add all of this color right here from the sale. Let's just give it the same as the sale color. Face that. Make sure we get rid of this background color because that's what we're adding in here. Save this. Now if we go into in here, let's just refresh. There you have it. You have to sell 20, or excuse me, the save 20, save 50. Right? And you can of course change the color of this. You can change the way it looks all via the CSS right here. All right? Now you'll notice that the button up right here, it was sold out, but because you've added that save 20, we have overwritten that. So you could add some additional logic, but for now this should work. This gets us what we want it to do. So it doesn't impact the integrity of what the debut theme is doing. So if it's still for sale, it has sale, it just doesn't have the save 20, save 50 tags. All right. So if it does have those tags, you'll get, or it does have those, yeah, those product tags, then that's what you'll get, these badges right here. All right. So there you have it. That's how you can put in here whatever tag you want in your products. Put in if you have a if you want to tag it as a 20% discount, 25% discount, etc. You can certainly do that. All you have to do now with all of, all of the code that we just implemented is just tag in here a save 50, save 20, save 30. Now if you have many of them, be careful about that. You can only have one. If you have many of them, it might show one or the other, or it might just pick up the last product that it iterates over. So it'll, it'll only show one of them. So make sure you only have one product tag that has a save underscore in it. Otherwise, that's how you can create some conditional tags in here. If you're interested in taking a deeper dive in how you can edit your Shopify theme, please come out to universetheme.com where we have a course that takes a much deeper dive into the different things that you can do to edit your theme. So feel free to come out here, read up on what the course covers. We do have a course curriculum towards the middle of the page here. So feel free to go through the course outline. If it's something you're interested in, you do have a 14 day free trial. So come check us out if you're interested in learning more about Shopify theme development.